Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Here is Mr. Muhammad Khalifa. I'm recording this video to explain how we can use the Tenkar CAD program so you can participate inside grade 4 competition. Okay, guys. How we can how we can open the Tinker CAD program and what is the usage of Tinker CAD program? We use the Tinker CAD program to design 3D objects like houses or even furniture. Anything you want to design it as a 3D object, you can get the help with this website. Let's open it together. So open Chrome and in the new tab at the search area here type Tinker CAD. Type Tinker CAD. After you type Tinker CAD, you'll find the Tinker CAD official site is the first result. Tab it to open it. And as you see, the website is loaded for you. The website is loaded right now. At the first usage, guys, this website might ask you to make a new account. Again, at the first usage, this website might ask you to make a new account. So you can ask your father or your mother for the help to create your account using the Google account. Okay, guys, after you make your free account using Google email or your Google account, open the website and choose that you're a student and press here, create new design. Let's press create new design. When we do that, the website will load the program environment guys for us. Okay, as you just saw, we have here the basic shapes. We can use it to design our object. And here we have the workspace or the work plane. And here we can change how we can see the workspace or how we can see the work plan. Here we can move to the home view, the home view of the work plan. From here, you can control a part or an object of your work plan. And from here, you can zoom it in. And here you can zoom it out as you like. So zoom in or zoom out your work plan to see it clear. Okay, I'll explain today how we can design a cup of coffee. So you can use the same technique to design each and everything comes up in your mind directly. So focus please guys. First, I'll imagine the shape of the cup of coffee on my head. And then I will try to insert the basic shapes to draw the shape in my mind. First, the cup is taking the shape of cylinder, right? So I'll drag and drop. How you can insert shapes? Drag and drop. Press and hold and drop. Okay, guys. You will see that the shape I just entered is highlighted with many small squares. The small squares are used to control the size of the shape. So now, I'm controlling the width and the height of it but in 2d what about 3d you can control this shape or move this cube like that so you can see it from another angle or you can press and hold press and hold the right mouse clicker when you press the right mouse clicker you can move freely the workspace so now I moved it like that and as you see, I want to increase its height. I'll catch this square and move up. Now, I made the first shape. Okay, let's get the inside part of it empty. So, we have here, as you can see guys, solid shapes and empty shapes or whole shapes. The Tinker CAD website calls them as whole shapes. He mean with it, they are empty shapes. So with the usage of this one, guys, we can insert it inside this solid shape to make the insider part empty. Let's do it together, guys. Select it and drag it here. Let's get it a little bit bigger. And also from here, let's get it taller. But Mr. The whole one is bigger than the other one. What should I do? It's easy guys, just you can get it smaller, throw this corner, hold it down like that, and now it's smaller. What else you can do? Let's increase its size a little bit. I want to align 
the empty one inside to be at the exact center. What should I do, guys? Okay, select both of the shapes. How you can select it? Press with the mouse left clicker and hold it. Press with the mouse left clicker and hold it, and then move to select all the shapes on your screen. And then you have here the option to change the alignment. Tap it and take a look. Can you see what happened, guys? We have here three dimensions. This one is vertical, this one is horizontal, and this one is also horizontal directly above the sheet or above the work plane. I need to align those two shapes horizontally, not vertically. So I'll press here and here to get both of the shapes exactly centered. Again, to get both of the shapes exactly centered and then I pressed here to see them from the top okay after that I can close it let's control now the shape of them this one needs to be smaller a little bit Press top one more time. Okay. If you want to get it a little bit smaller or bigger as you like, you can control its size through here. When you're satisfied adjusting it, here it's from the top. You can change the alignment again to be center and center. Select all the shapes. Press here the alignment, center and center. One more thing guys, we need to add a hand to the cup. We need to add a hand to the cup. Okay, take a look at here the basic shapes one more time and scroll down. We're going to insert torus, this one. Or you can add tube as you like. Torus or tube. Hold it and move it to your work area. And then you can change its angle. You can change its angle. Focus. Select it. And take a look, I'm changing its angle, I'm making it vertical, like that, and then I'll increase its size a little bit, and I'll move it here, expand its size, mister, it's touching the floor. And here it's not organized, what should I do? You can move it to the place you like, like that. You can leave it here. And let's move to how to control the objects vertically. Okay guys, each and every shape, when you select it, it has this small square above it. You can tap and hold it and move up. Can you see what happened? I now controlled the shape or this shape to move up. Let's see. I will do it also for the insider cylinder. This one, I will move it up a little bit. So the inside area of my mug will be empty. How I finalize my work, guys? Select all of the shapes and then press here. Press group or control with G to collect all the shapes together. When you tap it, as you see guys, sorry, as you see, the entire work is done. Now our mug is done. I'm showing you the mug from all the angles. Like that. And all the parts are attached together. Okay guys. That was a brief idea only that how can we use the program. Sure, you can design whatever you like. You can design a house, for example, and you can also insert a text. Can you see when you press here, you have the ability to insert a text. I'll type my name through this one. I type my name here. When I select it, I can control its size, getting it a little bit smaller. 
So here is my name. I can get it higher. Can you see? This is its shadow. You can also from here change its color. Get another color like this one. Or this color. So you can adjust the content guys as you like. If you needed any further assistance, you can type a comment with your question under this video. That's all guys. I hope that you find this video helpful for you.